All right, we're going to try and um, do a short video on how to convert your sim driving pedals into rudders for your flight sim. So this is the method that I found worked best. Um, two programs you're going to need. One is VJoy. See the address there, you can download it. So just go ahead and download VJoy. And the next program you're going to need is Joystick Gremlin. Joystick Gremlin is the thing where you can combine two um, axes and make them a slider. So i.e. your clutch pedal and your accelerator pedal, you're going to merge those into one slider, which DCS will pick up as a rudder. So that's where you download that one from. So once you've got them downloaded, you only need to run um, VJoy once. You don't have to do it again. Once it's done, it's done. And you don't have to change any settings, which is nice. Just make sure you enable it. And from what I can understand, and I'm no expert, is that it creates a virtual joystick that Windows can recognize and you can program via Joystick Gremlin. So you've downloaded VJoy and you've enabled it next program to download is joystick gremlin which is the one here so you start it up and it shows you all your devices that are currently attached and what we're looking for is whatever um, pedals you got these are mine yours might be Fanatec or anything else and what we need to do now is to merge the two pedals and the way we do that we go to actions we go to merge axis and then you'll see the lower half of the slider and the upper half of the slider well i happen to know i mean i'm pressing my clutch now that tells me that's z rotation so we want z rotation in the lower half and now i'm doing the accelerator and that's the x rotation and we have that on the upper half and we merge axis here, VJoy, and make it a slider. We don't have to do anything else. That's all we do. And when we've got that ready, we just click on this one, which basically makes it run. Whatever you program into this, and you click on that button there, it will run and it will merge them. You don't have to do anything else. That's done now. That's running in the background with the virtual joystick. So the last thing we need to do is to tell DCS what to look for and how to interpret it. I mean, I struggled with this. <laughs> I struggled a long time with this because there are a number of videos there about how to convert sim driving pedals and none of them work for me. Even though I followed them to the letter, my rudder pedals would start acting very erratically. The rudders would deflect for no reason on their own. Um, just couldn't get it to work. But this method works for me. So hopefully it'll work for you too. So we go to options controls whatever aircraft you've got it all works on so let's do the f16 and we're going to do axis commands because of course it's an axis um for some reason let's have a look. and what we need to do there's all the devices that were there before but we make sure we slide that so we can see all of them and there we have our vjoy that's our virtual joystick device. And if we go down to rudder, which is what we want, and I'll operate, that's my clutch. So it starts from the middle and goes out to the left. That's my accelerator, starts in the middle and goes out to the right. That's how it's set up. And if you want to have a look what it looks like in the tune-up box, let's have a little look. And that's what you're looking at. Dead zone zero, saturation 100, saturation for the wire 100 no curvature 
we don't need to make it a slider because it already is and we just put invert in that's all we do and if you watch that's my right rudder or the accelerator pedal it starts in the middle the black box and it moves out to the right and doing the clutch same thing black box starts in the middle and moves out to the left so that's what we got there and we go okay we do okay and then when we hop in the plane hey presto it'll be working so that concludes the video on how to set up your sim driving pedals to work on flight simulators like dcs